I figure, you know what? Let's actually take a look at the fixture itself. We have the Shunk Rota S Flex. This bad boy is a beast, all right? Now, we torqued it at 88 foot-pounds, which puts 22,000 pounds of force on this titanium, right? 500 pounds, that's what we started off with, and now we're whittling it down. One thing I'll say is when you actually come to the side, you actually see the claw jaws digging in. 120 degrees apart from each other. I actually brought in the fixture into Mastercam. Then I did a C-plane off of this flat right here. Did a rectangle and I dimensioned it off the claw jaw. Above, boom, boom. And then I created a rectangle and then I extruded it in past center. And then I copied it two times which basically gave me this shape. Then as I'm programming, I'm selecting the octopus and I'm selecting everything that I wanna actually machine, but then I tell Mastercam, hey, that model right there, I select the model and I say, don't touch that. Don't touch these. And that gives me clearance away from the jaws that are actually holding them apart. And then it allows me to actually come in and have some fun. Because guess what? Now you actually see this and you see this guy but I'm gonna actually come in and machine all this away. I'm gonna get up underneath inside the legs. The legs are gonna be in free air, right? Just boom, it's gonna be crazy. And to do that, I have to support the foundation. And that's what I'm doing with this shunk chuck. It's gonna be insane. So not only did it start off at 500 pounds, thank you, by the way, to TMS Titanium, these guys, supply all our titanium needs. A lot of you guys already know, right? I'm from Hawaii. That's the octopus on my arm. It comes all the way around because I grew up homeless. I grew up starving and I learned how to fish. I learned how to dive. I learned how to catch octopus and that's how I was brought up. And therefore this octopus has a special place in my heart. A lot of people say, hey Titan, like why are you wasting 500 pounds of titanium? And I'm like, dude, I'm an artist, man. I spend weeks on these oil paintings. Is that wasted time? This is just another expression right here of something I love to do. Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys like a quick look at the fixture and some of the cool things that I did and give you guys an update on what's coming. Watch the rest of the video because we're gonna take these tools, we're gonna drop down full depth, we're gonna get into some crazy places just roughing titanium. For those that ask me, hey, how come you're not doing shell mills? Dude, shell mills are big and bulky. Like I can't get down inside of these different places and I have an HSK 63 smaller connection, kind of like a 40 taper. So by the time you get that depth over here, you're losing rigidity. And when you look at the Harvey 3 and the Harvey 1 TE, by the way, we sell them on our store now at great prices and you help us fund free education. Little plug right there. By the time you actually drop down, you use the full depth of the cutter, smaller radius, your MRs through the roof, boom. If the carbide breaks, no problem. I can walk away from the machine. Uh, this is only one part. I'm not doing a whole production series. If an insert breaks, I can ruin the entire tool and just grind it into the material. Carbide works for me. Boom, as you can see, success right here. Anyway, watch the rest of the videos. You're gonna see some amazing machining. Look at the speeds, the feeds, look at all of it. Bank that information, use that information to compete in this trade and lift of your own companies. If you guys love the awareness and the education we're bringing to the trade, please hit the subscribe button. That helps our channel and helps everything that we do. So hit the likes and I'll put your comments down below. Boom, I love you guys. Check out the rest of the machining right here.